What's up, party animals? My name is Kezi, and today I want to tell you how to come out as a furry to your parents. Now, quick story time, I actually was been a furry for really, really long. Um, and when I was like, I think 14 or so, I came out as a furry to my parents. And it was the most awkward conversation I've ever had. Um, I came out as a furry to my parents, I walk out, I sit them down, and I'm like, hey mom, hey dad, I'm a furry. And they're like, oh, what's that? And I'm like, oh, it's just a group of people who like anthropomorphic animals. And I'm like, and they're like, oh, well, that sounds fine. Uh, is there, is there more? Like, like, and any, anything else you want to tell me? And I'm like, nope, I just wanted to tell you I'm a furry because it's a big part of my life now. And they're like, oh, okay, are you sure there's nothing else you wanted to say? And I'm like, nope, I am completely happy with you knowing that I'm a furry and that's it. And later in life, I realized they thought I was coming out as gay. They thought I was into men. And I am now, and girls, but not at that point. That wasn't what I was doing. I just came out as a furry, and it was such a silly thing to come out on. My parents were like, why is he telling me this? This is very odd. It has no impact on my life or his. And basically, just don't get bullied. And I think that was probably not a mistake. I don't think it was a bad idea. It didn't have a negative impact on my life. It was just an awkward conversation that really didn't need to happen. Like, and it's the same idea of going out and let's say I was into soccer. Um, and I went out to my parents and I'm like, hey mom, hey dad, I like playing soccer. And they'd be like, oh, that's fun. Is there anything else you want to say? And I'd be like, nope, I just like playing with balls. And they would be just as confused as me coming out as a furry. Because it doesn't matter unless, unless you need something from them. So if I was like, hey mom, hey dad, me and some friends are going to go to a soccer game. I'd like transportation to get there. That's a whole different thing, you know? And the same goes for furries. You don't need to come out as a furry and just be, yep, I'm a furry, and nothing else. But let's say you need a trip to the craft store to buy some fur. Let's say you need a trip to the local fur meet. You know, that is something to come out as a furry with, but it's not coming out as a furry. It's just saying, hey, I want your help with this hobby I have. You know, anything like that. If you need help with going to do the thing that you want to do, you know, going to a craft store, going to a game, you know, let's say you get into bowling. Ah, oh, I want to ride so I can go to my bowling team's bowling meet or whatever. You know, you can do those things without needing to just sit them down and come out as a furry. Most parents will enjoy the fact that their kid is making friends. Now, if your parent is super against furries, well, Again, there's no point in coming out because it's just going to cause more problems. So, you know, some parents are super against the furry fandom and everything that the furries stand for. They think it's some sort of hypersexual, kiddo touching community of bad people. And there are some places like that. But guess what? It's the internet. There's horrible things on the internet. Please be careful. Don't go to places you're not supposed to go to because bad things will happen. I did that as a kid. I had bad people saying bad things to me when I was really young. Please don't go to those places. It is for your safety more than anything. So be careful online, but ultimately, the furry fandom is a really wholesome place. I've met tons of people and had tons of fun. So there's really no reason to come out as a furry because it's no different than trying to come out as a baseball player or someone who likes Pokemon or video games, you know? Hey mom, hey dad, I like Nintendo. Okay, what are they supposed to do with that information? And until you give them something to do with that, you know, oh, I want a, I want a Super Nintendo for Christmas. Well, that's different. I guess 
That's old. That's better. That's something that can actually be action upon and some reason why you'd tell them. Because, you know, you don't need to come out as a furry. And I feel like that's been something that's been a problem for decades. I remember being a furry in like early 2010, probably even beforehand, all things considered. And one of the things that people always were was like, oh, I need to come out to my parents as a furry. You don't. You really don't. And there's no reason to come out as a furry, there, but there's all the reason to tell them what you need to better yourself in a hobby that you have. You know, if you're into soccer, oh, can you buy me a soccer ball? If you're into furries, oh, can you buy me fur so I can do a craft and make a fursuit? You know, there's reasons to do these things and there's reasons to not do these things. And just coming out as if it's some sort of sexuality makes it sound like a sexuality, which makes it way weirder. So don't come out as a furry. You don't need to. Please stop having this discussion over, oh, do I need to come out as a furry? You don't. You really don't. It's not really necessary unless, again, you need something. You need help. Because if you need help, or if something is bad is happening to you, let's say you are a furry and someone's saying weird things to you on the internet. Well, that's different. And you might want to talk to your parents about that so you can get the help you need before something bad happens. And parents, if your kid comes out as a furry to you, help them. Do not shun them and make sure there is open communication. That's the goes for anything that has to do with having an online presence. Because kids and adults are both on the internet and bad things happen. And if there's not an open line of communication, your kid will be afraid to say anything and things will get worse. So please, have an open line of communication with par between parents and kids and make sure that they feel safe because that is the biggest thing. It doesn't matter what community they're in, it just matters that they're safe. Because if you say no, if you're like, ah, oh, you're, you're a bad kid for liking furries, guess what? That's not going to stop them. They're going to be a furry, and then when bad things inevitably happen, they're not going to tell you about them, and things will get worse. So, what have we learned? Don't tell your parents you're a furry unless there's a reason to. You don't just walk up and sit them down and be like, I'm a furry, and make sure there's an open line of communication if they do know, because having that conversation is important. Anyway, that's about it for this video. I just wanted to give a quick video on how to say you're a furry without making it weird. And yeah, I think that's it. Thanks so much for watching. Bye-bye.